here's three ways that you can get more story views even if you feel like your engagement has been in the gutter. What's up, Empire fam? Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be talking about how to get more story views on your Instagram page. Now, for many of you who are struggling right now to get more story views, or maybe you've been active been active for a while, this is a few opportunities for you guys to get more story views. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how you can increase them if you guys are getting stable story views already. So number one, don't post on your stories for 24 hours. Now I know this sounds a little counterintuitive, but Instagram is a lot more forgiving when it comes to not posting in a little bit, especially if you've been, been inactive. Whereas YouTube, this platform, or TikTok is a lot less forgiving. But on Instagram, because they're an advertising platform, they will essentially give you a little bit more reach as kind of a reward for being inactive and now being active again. They usually incentivize that because they wanna kind of get you back on the platform using the actual platform itself to create a better user experience for everybody else. And they wanna get you into paying ads. That's something that you could do to alleviate that. It's also amount of how long you've been inactive for. So if you've been inactive for a really long time, that may not work. But for those of you who are pretty consistent and you might take a week or two off, that is a good way for you guys to you know ramp up your story views. Now, when it comes down to the actual post itself and what you are going to post on your stories for the first time, if it's been a while, is creating something that is relationship building or something that creates connection. Your stories are a place where you can kind of have more of an intimate experience with your audience. And that's where you guys can ask them questions, invite them to engage in a conversation with you. You know, have a little bit more of that personal touch because at the end of the day, a personal brand is a human being just like me. And what you're following that person for is advice, for value, for entertainment, etc. So whereas on the feed, it can be a little bit more curated and edited from post-production, stories are a lot more native, they're a lot more authentic, and that's where you can kind of have that intimate experience. So the more relationship kind of building content that you can start off with if you've been inactive for a little bit to increase those story views, the better opportunity you're gonna to have to have a better reach overall. Now, going into number three. Now, number three, we're gonna be talking about utilizing those tools where you can actually engage with them and have a little bit of fun with your audience by having them kind of go back and forth with you. So there's many tools on stories that people don't even really leverage and have no idea that are there or they do and they just don't use them. You want to create stories that are gonna keep the retention of your followers engaged, right? Because if you've noticed Let's say you have five or 10 slides on your stories, right? You'll probably notice that the first one is obviously going to have the most amount of views, which is why the first slide is always the most important one. If you want to kind of reactivate the visibility of your audience and kind of start uh, ramping up those views, you could start it off with a poll. You could start off by asking people questions. You could start off by having a Q&A. As much ways as you can interact and get your audience to interact with you on a more personal level through stories, it's gonna be the best opportunity for you guys to increase those views because when you invite people to engage with your content, they're going to be more receptive to that. When people are engaging on content, it's usually because there's some sort of CTA or it's because you've built a massive loyal audience. But for those of you guys who are struggling to keep that visibility up, you gotta use more tools. The more tools you use, the more Instagram is going to reward you with more reach, as well as inviting your audience to interact with you in a more intimate way. So utilize those tools, you know, use the sliding bar tool, use polls to ask them questions, use Q and A's to invite your followers to ask you questions that you have the answers to. Assuming that you guys are having this personal brand, you probably have an expertise in what value you're providing to your audience. Your confidence should be very high that you can answer the majority of your followers' questions. And if they're asking you questions that are more personable and something that's more catered towards your lifestyle outside of business or outside of what your expertise is on your personal brand, that's also fine. People wanna know what you also do outside of what your profession is. It kind of creates a little bit more of a, re a relationship and a relatable vibe between you and your audience because they want to know that you know you're just another person just like them you don't want to come off as this like a-list celebrity that comes out of nowhere and can basically un become unreachable you want to you want to invite the conversation with people that it's okay for them to engage with you because that's what you want them to do the more they engage with you the more of a loyal audience you're going to create so as an example the holidays just passed but for those of you guys who were with family for Christmas and you guys maybe wanted to take advantage of some of the lifestyle opportunities that you guys are doing currently and want to put on video to show your audience, you guys could take a photo or you can make a video and you could say, hey, vote on this poll on which dessert for Christmas you guys think is best, right? So that way you're actually giving them a little bit more something relatable. That's something that's current, that's happening, right? Everybody just had Christmas. It'd be New Year's, right? It's just a way for you guys to engage and kind of create that interaction between you and your audience. So the biggest takeaway here for you guys is that the more personable and relatable that you can get with your audience, and the more ways that you can invite them to create conversations with you, the more reach and the more visibility that you guys 
guys are going to have. The goal is to keep those story views consistent, slide over slide over slide, because everyone sees that downhill slope of story views where you kind of lose their retention. So utilizing those tools, utilizing text over those videos, utilizing Q and A's, polls, et cetera, all of that is going to help increase the retention of your story views and inevitably help you, your personal brand, and also monetizing that online presence for you guys to build a bigger business. So guys, that's it for me today. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so that you guys can see more videos. Hit the bell for the notifications. Drop some comments below if you guys found this video helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one.